Uh, this is the Ruth Price. It's 3877. What's the problem, ma'am? Oh, well, there's some guy been um, checking the place out. How? Well, he went in the back. I have an apartment in the back, and he said he was looking for a guy. And he comes to my door. So I'm a, I live alone, and I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. where, where is he now, ma'am? I don't have no idea. <laughs> We are living in a culture where the criminal element has absolutely no fear. I spent my career as a police officer trying to protect the citizens of my city from those who would take a life and think nothing about it. As a patrol officer, I patrolled the city trying to prevent crime from happening. As a detective, I researched the no fear attitude that I was encountering uh, in most criminals that I was dealing with. So please welcome police detective and author of the book No Fear, Robert Surgeoner, to the show. Robert, real quick, I'm almost done. Now. Our next guests certainly think so. Robert and Nancy Surgeoner join us now from Cleveland, Ohio. According to my next guest, instilling fear is the right thing to do. Robert Surgeoner is a father of five, a juvenile crime detective, and now an author of the book no fear. Joining us from Cleveland tonight is retired detective Robert Surgenor, who wrote about corporal punishment in his book, No Fear. Every year in the United States, 16,000 murders are committed by people who have no respect for the sanctity of life. That's an average of 43 people a day who lose their lives in this country. The motive could be robbery, uh, revenge or maybe the person just doesn't like you. There were numerous times I responded to calls of innocent victims who were unable to defend themselves against robbers and murderers. The overwhelming majority of the time we were too late. It's a crime the people of Berea are having trouble comprehending. A 46 year old woman is murdered at a Little Caesars restaurant and the suspect is a high school student. News Channel 5's Jenny Dean joins us live from Berea. And Jenny, what have you learned? Soon after the victim was shot, she staggered to United Dairy Farmers, where she died within minutes. When she stumbled in the door uh, next door, she said, I've been shot. And then when she collapsed, she said, please don't let me die. As the woman lay dying, the suspect fled the scene. If you were lucky enough to survive your attack, and we were lucky enough to be in the vicinity, then we might catch the offender like these thugs that terrorized an elderly man with knives and guns. I got these covered back here. Get out. Get out. Feet down on the ground now. Don't move, bud. Feet down on the ground. It's because of incidents like this that most states have passed concealed carry laws that allow law-abiding citizens to carry a firearm. For years, Innocent victims have needed something to help them protect themselves against attacks. Folks, this is the great equalizer. This is a Sig Sauer P220 45 caliber semi automatic handgun. I call him Mr. Barker. This is a 25 caliber Colt semi automatic handgun. I call him the Noisy Cricket. It doesn't matter what kind of gun you carry, as long as you carry. I would recommend to every citizen in this country, from 21 to 101, to obtain your concealed carry license. It doesn't mean that you have to carry a gun everywhere you go, every time you go out. But it does mean that if there is a situation where you would feel more comfortable taking along Mr. Barker, then the law allows you to do so. We need to stop the senseless killings of innocent people. We can't keep watching news stories about the execution-style murder of a robbery victim. We need to fight back, 
like this elderly couple in Virginia. Oh my God! Ma'am, what's wrong? Uh, he's uh, trying to break down the he's door. Trying, he's trying to break the door down, Kenny. He's trying to break the door. I hear it, ma'am. Ma'am, can you see if he has a gun? I cannot see. No. Um, I don't want to hurt you, okay? Is he talking to your husband rationally? Or? No, he is not. Is he talking to your husband? He's, he's beating on the door. I mean, I can even see the glass. It's going to break. Oh, what? He's counting. The, oh, my God. Oh, God, he's crazy. He's getting ready to come in. A simple one-day concealed handgun course enables you to obtain your concealed carry permit and I would strongly advise you to take this first step in protecting yourself and your family.